everybody, I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. Okay, it's warm outside. Let's get our grills going and let's do some flank steak. Flank steak is one of my favorite cuts of meat. If you've never done it before, I highly recommend it. And I'm gonna show you how to cook it perfect every time. With our flank steak, we're gonna do chimichurri sauce. And what chimichurri sauce is, is an Argentinian condiment. It's kind of like, I don't know if I wanna say barbecue sauce for them, but they, they put it on a lot of things. And it's super delicious, it's made with herbs, and we're gonna make that in just one second. But before we do that, let's get to our steak. So flank steak, let me get it out of its packaging here. It's a flat steak. A um, couple of things about flank steak is you'll notice that it has grains that run a certain way. Um, as you can tell, they run like this. Um, it's pretty lean cut of meat well as well. You don't see a lot of, of fat on there. Um, but it's certainly very flavorful. And what I love about it is if you cook it just right, it's gonna be one of the more flavorful tender steaks and cut it just right too. Um, it's gonna be fantastic. So I've got my grill pan going. Uh, all I'm gonna do is season with salt and pepper. That's all, nothing more. I mean, if you wanna throw garlic powder or something on there, that's fine too. I just like the simplicity of salt and pepper. So that's what I'm gonna go for. If you wanna season it a little bit more than that, by all means go for it. Um, but. Um, so the secret to good flank steak and perfect flank steak every time for a perfect medium rare is the 666 rule. So what that is, is six minutes on one side, six minutes on the next side, and then a six minute rest. If you cook it like that on your grill, probably a medium high grill, you're going to get a perfect medium rare steak, flank steak almost every time. So remember the 666 rule. So my grill is preheated. I'm just using my grill pan. Of course, if you have your grill outside, that's going to be fine too. But I'll get that on there. While that cooks, let's make our chimichurri sauce. What it is, is it's, um, I have cilantro here. Cilantro is actually not a traditional in chimichurri. I just like the flavor that it brings. And so then I have parsley, and then I have oregano. And then here's some garlic cloves, some shallot, some sugar, salt, and uh, red pepper flake. And then I have lemon juice, red wine vinegar, and then extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and zip that up in my blender. And then that's all that there is to making that sauce. Um, in fact, if you let make this sauce early ahead of time and let it sit, it's actually a little bit better. So let's just get that in there and spin it up really nicely. And that is pretty much it for our sauce. Um, of course, you probably want to go a little bit longer, but that's basically chimichurri sauce, and it's delicious on steak. So let's get it out of our out of our uh, blender. Uh, that's looking great. All right, it's gonna look pretty thick like that, almost like a pesto sauce, just for your information. So don't worry about it if it looks too thick. Okay, so I've got a steak that I've cooked perfectly. Um, I've done the 666 rule. Let's uh, slice it and let's see how, how we serve it here. Make sure to let it rest so we don't lose all our juices when we cut it out. But if you'll notice that that steak is looking absolutely perfectly medium rare, just like I wanted. Mouth is watering, I'm sorry. But it's going to be fantastic. It's one of my favorite cuts of steak. When you cut your steak, I mentioned before, grains go this way, we cut this way. And that will, that will give us our best uh, tender version of this steak. And then if you do that, you cook it that way. It's gonna be perfect every time. Let's get it on our plate. Let's get some of our chimichurri sauce on top, just like so. And you're gonna love this dish. So everybody, you can find all of these ingredients at your local Smiths. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for shopping. And we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.